theme of this year's plenum of the 18th CPC Centre Committee, which began today, will be the rule of law. The four-day meeting will also discuss improving social justice and anti-corruption measures. As CCTV's Hona reports, the meeting marks a milestone in the country's push toward a complete legal system. For the first time, the CPC Central Committee preliminary session will take the rule of law as its key theme. The CPC will aim this year to draw from socialist legal theory to come out with concrete measures that promote the rule of law. That includes ensuring scientific legislation, strict enforcement, judicial justice, and modern governance. In the 30 plus years after reform and opening up, China has achieved a legislative process that took Western countries hundreds of years to reach. However, old habits die hard and the mindset of Chinese people won't change easily. Professor Guo Xinhua has been studying the issue for a decade. He thinks that China's social and economic development have made dependent reforms more necessary than ever before, but he says it must be done carefully. To fully implement the rule of law in China, we cannot simply copy the Western style. We need to take a lot of things like the Chinese culture, history and people's customs into consideration. The process could be really long, but we are doing it now. A crucial part of improving the rule of law in China will be improving its laws and regulations. That includes creating stricter supervision for law enforcement officials in order to avoid abuses of power. In order to build a complete legal system, experts say that the campaign still needs more efforts in effective enforcement and stricter supervision. The CPC should effectively improve law enforcement in government administration to ensure that laws are enforced in a standard, fair and civil manner. On that CCTV, Beijing. 3% between July and September from a year earlier. Slightly above market expectations. But it slowed from 7.5% in the second quarter, marking the weakest growth in six years. But many industry experts say the slowdown is not a cause for concern. Let's find out why. The world's second largest economy is indeed slowing down. Although still slightly above market expectations, at 7.3%, China's third quarter GDP still marked the slowest rise in six years. Nonetheless, analysts say there is little need to worry, given that the newest GDP reading was still impressive and the numbers really do show some remarkable resilience in the Chinese economy. Looking at the data, sure there has been a slowdown, but the country's economic operations are still within the normal range. Given the complex international economic situation, growth in the third quarter faced a lot of pressure. To keep stable economic growth was not an easy task. Other data showed factory output rose 8% in September from a year earlier, beating expectations for a 7.5% increase and up from August's six-year low of 6.9%. However, fixed asset investment and retail sales figures were weaker than expected. That suggests that the government still has room to announce a fresh new round of stimulus. This was the first time the growth of the service sector has surpassed the growth of the industrial sector since last year. Industrial structure adjustment is speeding up as well. New industries, new sectors and new products are all growing really fast. The entire economic projection is still rather positive. Although China has seen its slowest economic growth in the third quarter, there's other data that suggests the picture is not gloomy. Uh, the employment rate was generally stable with increased wages in the first nine months. Over 10 million jobs were created, surpassing the target of the whole year. While the growth rate of per capita disposable income outpaced GDP at 8.2 percent compared with the same time last year, the rising income may support the shift to a more consumption-driven economy and the country used less energy per unit of GDP than the same period of last year. The figure dropped by 4.6 percent as China pledged a